wake up every morning and wish that I could play basketball with my friends, but then I remember that I am a horse. Good afternoon, Rebels, and welcome to RNN, the Rizoid Nibbler Network. Isaac, I'm pretty sure that's not a real network, and I'm also pretty sure that Rizoid is a plant and Nibbler is a fictional character. Well, that's... Welcome to the Rebel News Network. This is the Rebel News Network. Our top story today, the late work cutoff is next Friday, and that means procrastinating anymore is not okay. This means no more Snapchatting, no more napping, and no more Fortniteing. It's time to get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. We're now headed over to our beloved accountant, Kevin Malone, on his enthralling take on the next few weeks in sports. Nope, it's not Ashton Kutcher, it's Kevin Malone. Equally handsome, equally smart. Baseball has a three-game series against Dallas. Softball is away at Silverton, home at Corvallis, and on Tuesday, they play against CV. Wednesday, Friday, track and field, Lebanon at South, April 25th. Golf, ask Nathaniel. Tennis, ask Wynn. It's such a pleasure to teach when you work like that, Matthew. You outdid yourself today. On a serious note, students have been parking in the pool parking lot, and that needs to stop. Plain and simple. Just please, park in the tennis parking lot. It's that easy. Speech and debate is something that a lot of people think they're good at. But they're really not. Some of the best at South Albany are Keith Stevens, Pippa Richardson, Kayla Jones, Natalie Chilcote, Susie Montez, Rosario Lowell, Lily Broughton, Logan Nord, Madison Hill, Elise Peter, Andrew Nord, Jacoby Fisher, and Isaac Hole. Rebels Rising is every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday in the Commons until 5. That's really all we know about it. After school until 5. So now we're going to head over to our miscellaneous reporter, Eanimus Todd, for more information. Eanimus. Rising, and I'm sure the question has been plaguing us all. What even is Rebels Rising? Rebels Rising is an after school time for people to come together and work on questions or struggles we might have in our classes. About how long does Rebels Rising last? I would say that Rebels Rising lasts about two hours or so. I think the most important question is is there food? There is food in Rebels Rising. Then I guess it's all worth it. Thank you, Ian Todd. That was a profound performance for the ages. We now head over to Double Dub, Wyatt the Weatherman, on probably just about anything but the weather. It's true. This is weather with Wyatt, except without the weather. If I have to talk about weather, this weather sucks. So, are you a good looking lady looking for a prom date? Well, your boy, Wyatt the Weatherman, also looks for a prom date. And if you need one, just hit me up at 541 The audio in this clip kind of cut out, so we're going to do a little voiceover instead. In this clip, they start talking about how prom is coming up on April 28th and how it's going to be at the OSU Alumni Center. Now they're mentioning how the prom theme is actually going to be a masquerade, and they decide to point at the green screen for no apparent reason. They want you to know about prom tickets, but in all reality, they don't really know anything about them besides that they're going to be sold on April 25th, 26th, and 28th after school and during lunch. They don't know the price yet because they didn't really think much about it. Right now they're talking about a guy named Kalmata, who isn't really important. But they're also saying if you want help for tux rentals, go talk to Alex King and Nathaniel Herring about the natty dresser and they'll hook you up. The book drive is happening April 16th through the 20th in your second period class. The winning class will receive a donut party. 
<laughs> Please bring new or gently used children's books to your second period class. The books will be donated to Cobra Ridge. Uh, I don't like doing r and n Seniors, we have a dream. That you vote for prom court. Right now, turnout is pretty low, and that is not okay. It's very low. It's way too low, actually. If you guys don't vote, there's no prom court. Simple as that. Go into your Google Docs in your school email and do it. If you guys don't, I'm gonna go on Rampage. Just like that. Just like that. Maybe even worse. Oh, power is something that the South Albany boys basketball team will lack greatly next season due to the loss of South Albany's big three. Colin McCoy, Preston Mayer, and Isaac Southwick are all graduating this year. And as the big three, Coach Justin Smith has many a times proclaimed his intense worry for the future of this program. He says that quote, I've never been more worried in my life. I mean, the raw toughness that each member of the big three could bring to the floor night in and night out, phew, it's hard to swallow and definitely keeps me up at night. We can only hope at this it seems. I am a horse. Moving on, our possibly last student council meeting barring on the idea that softball will not make playoffs, is going to be held next Friday in the theater during Flex. Please come ready to voice your opinion in hope of making South Albany a better place for all. Everybody. That's what I just said. All right. Oh, South Albany. And remember, if attacked by a mob of clowns, go for the juggler. Dude, that's steamy. I'm gonna try it, dude. This is so good. Oh Wait, where's this from? Cheesy stuffed burgers. Mm. Where's that? It's I I don't really know where it is, but yeah, I think they have like they have a food truck. Uh, yeah. When you go, when you're coming like towards like Wendy's over the overpass, mm -hmm. it's like by where that old car wash station used to be. Yeah, I just always go.